and welcome to my birthday vlog. I intend on making my birthday a whole thing. I'm starting to vlog now. I'm showing you guys me wearing the dress I intend to wear the Friday after my birthday. My birthday is on a Wednesday. I want to go out for drinks and dancing on the Friday of that week. This is the dress I intend to wear. It's from V Studios. I got it on sale. So flirty and it's so pretty. Like I intend to shake yash and club have I think I'm entering the prime of my life. I used to think the prime of my life was like 22, 23, 25 and that's what media makes you think but like I'm heading into my 30s living in my own apartment doing my own shit like I think I'm entering the fucking time of my life, so welcome to my party vlog. I hope you all enjoy it. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. Today is Monday. My lingerie for my birthday shoot just came in. A bra, a thong, a gutter belt, and I got stockings. But the thing is that I, when I wore it all together, the gutter belt did, wasn't really needed. I felt like the bra, the panties, and the stockings looked just perfect together. So I guess I'm going to go with that. And then I have another black bodysuit that I'm going to take as well. Um, La Salvi is going to be taking my photos. I'm going to put up his profile here. You guys should already like see the photos already. So tomorrow morning, I am getting my nails done really, really early. But she only has an appointment tomorrow or Saturday. She's booked all through the week. And I'm like, what? She feels good, but I've never got my nails done from her before. But um, I looked at her page and I saw her nails. I'm like, oh, okay. She seems to know her thing. So, all right. Um, I'm excited. My lingerie is here. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I'm getting waxed for the first time tomorrow. I want to get my kitty waxed because I want to just experience it, one. And two, I really want to embrace my body this, this time, this, this year, this season. This I just want to embrace it all. So... I feel like getting waxed with it will help me embrace that that feeling. This new studio is so cute. So so cute. I just got to my wax appointment. My phone is really low, so there might not be any clip of the waxing or any of things after this because my phone is like really low, it's on ten percent. So wish me luck guys. I'm getting this kitty cat wax for the first time and I'm I've taken painkillers. I'm calm. Let's go do this. Friday and yesterday Thursday was my birthday shoot. La Selvi and the shop uh, shot me two different photographers shot me for my birthday shoot and it was a long shot. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I actually wanted to like vlog a little bit of the details, like the behind the scenes of the shoot. But I was so focused on the shoot and I was also working at the same time because I took the day off work for the shoot but I still had like work stuff to do. I really didn't have time to be like picking up my phone to be recording and to be doing these kind of things. But La Salvi and Bishop got people to help me take pictures and do some BTS. So I'm gonna insert some BTS. Um, after this clip. Yeah, the tissue. Um, yeah, 
know I'm ready. My sister came yesterday. Oh my god. Oh my god. My sister came yesterday. I got it today and I tried it on and you guys are not. You guys are not ready for what is about to happen. I am so excited for my party. After work, I'm gonna go to the supermarket, um, buy some snacks, buy chicken, and then come home and marinate and get it ready because we're gonna take chicken from here to marinate at the beach. Um, no, not right, to cook it at the beach tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm definitely very, very excited for my birthday party on the beach. I've invited my colleagues, my friends, um, everybody basically. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Hello, everyone. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It is the day of my party at Aqua Bay. I'm slightly worried because of the weather. I've realized that every time I want to do something at the beach, the weather is always... It rained yesterday, and then it only occurred to me that I should worry about the weather, like, last night. That was the only time that my brain was like, it might rain, but it hasn't rained. I just have to pack, because I'm also spending the night at the beach. I'm staying there until tomorrow, so I have to pack. That is not my problem. Uh, but packing isn't much. It's just one night, and... I'm not wearing any makeup, so I don't have to worry about like excessive skincare and stuff. I'm going to the beach to have a party with my friends. I'm not going to like make it more. <laughs> I'm not going to make it like extra complicated, to be honest. So Banke got us a boat. So I have a boat that is going to be taking me, the DJ Banke, and a couple of stuff to the beach before my brother and other people get there. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff I need to do. So I need to start getting to it. Um, and start organizing and packing. And I want to clean my room and my house as well because I might not be, I'm not going to be around for the night, but I want to come back to the clean house. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have all the things um, that I'm taking for the party ready here. I have a bag of cookies and snacks, um, plates, tissues, cups. Then I have my drinks from Quattails. I've always wanted to order drinks from these guys. What better time to do it than your my birthday party? So I ordered some drinks and cocktails. And then I have water. I have a lot of water. So I have snacks, I have cookies, water, some alcohol. I have the chicken I'm carrying. I have a lot of shit that I am carrying to the beach. I'm so grateful for Banke getting us this boat that we'll be able to like transport most of these things to the beach for the party because i can't imagine actually thinking about it now i can't imagine transporting these things with like going with like a normal public transport like so back here if you ever watch this vlog shout out to you you are a real one you guys i wish us good luck wish us good luck what the fuck does that mean just in case just in case of what we're all just with heaven i believe that <laughs> I don't like this. Talking crazy, keep it coded, and I know that a nigga's loaded. I have Let's always go. been a cheapskate. I would right take you on no cheap date, but if it don't, it don't work out, come get this meat like a cheap date. Look, you got exported from Africa under the nose of the elephants. I seen your ass in a magazine, Sports Illustrated or Ebony. Trying not to get ahead of me. Locks on your head like you got the keys, keys, keys. Release my destiny, please, please. I need you in my sheets, sheets, sheets. Sooner than later, blindfolds or blinds open, thick vapors. I roll with the blunts, you only do papers. No payments now, we only do favors. Brown skin, you know I love your brown skin. You say you white on the inside. But coconut is still a tropical fruit, so it's nothing to you. 
cute. Black tie and white sand, loving the view. Oh, he me and chic, a little got in the loop. I don't listen to with nothing. I know my tongue is the truth. And my addiction to chocolate, what I'm talking to, too. I'm talking to this girl yet to die for. Uh, body like a driver, booty like a short, rockin' yellow and survivor. Video doing 120 to the island. Really, though? I ain't here to argue or get it, bro. <laughs> I think it's time to let the city know. Your aesthetic on the IG got me needing visine. Shorty, I get high when you dip it low. Uh, and you smile like you didn't know. It's been a lifetime and coming. Hold back the front and white fires bugging. Home by July, you right and I'm wondering now. Where to go from here? Give me all of your summer oh, love. Oh, it get nicer, the sun is up. Be Shawama at one o'clock. Where to go from here? LCC and we rolling oh, up. Oh, Every oh, weekend oh, exploring oh, such. Give me all of your summer love. Not at your back in town, he's calling, calling, but you're still here with me. It's vibration, it's vibrations clearly. Everybody's noticed, got me losing focus. Till you leave in August, oh. Basically, like, past six, all the people that are leaving have left, um, the rest of us are here. I'm just taking a moment to myself in the room, relax before past two, because I know this evening is still going to happen. I'm going to take a break and rest just for a little bit, take a nap. Uh, I'm spent. I'm still in love dancing. I have a quack tail. This one is called apple pie. It's cinnamon and apple. I actually don't know the liquor that's in this, but I'm gonna drink it. And enjoy. So, good morning, everyone. I wanted you guys to see the sunrise over the beach at Taco Bay. It's so damn beautiful. Like, everybody just brought out their phones. Man. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So fucking gorgeous. Look at the waves. Look at the beach. Like, this is just everything. This is just fucking everything, and I'm super grateful, super happy to the universe. I have water here! I'm super grateful for the universe and for everything that made today and all this fucking possible.
um, and I just wanted to show you guys like a little bit of a pop beach club. So these are the rooms. Are. <laughs> um, this is the pool with the cabanas, and uh, we're gonna we're leaving through the game room section. So this is the game room with some beds, and then more beds. And uh, there's table tennis and uh, yeah, that's it. This is Pop Beach Club. I was giving my 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 subscribers a tour of Pop Beach Club. Okay. Cause I don't think I did a tour when I came through. <laughs> it's my birthday. Oh, yeah, it's funny enough. But it is my birthday. Um, I'm putting my hand over my boobs because I'm wearing lingerie, and I don't want my boobs to fall out <laughs> and then get demonetized. But anyway, I'm 30 years old, and next, <laughs> I only see you, man. I'm like, okay, well, I will kind of stay at home and do nothing. But it turns out that I'm getting a hotel room, and I'm going to go swimming, and then I'm going out for dinner. So... I gotta get packing <laughs> and I gotta get packing. I'm ready to see you do a cannonball. <laughs> what is a cannonball? It's um. Let it's me a just jump. watch. Let me watch. Let it's me a watch. jump. <laughs> it's a very famous jump. I'm surprised you've never heard of it before. I want to move my stuff out of the way because there's going to be a lot of water. But basically, a cannonball is where you jump into the water, you hold yourself together, you put your knees up to your chest, you, you hug yourself. Oh, and you I know. Scream, it. Cannonball! Oh. The point is to like allow the place to splash. It's supposed to be like a very annoying jump because like people sitting on the sidelines will get wet. So I haven't done one since I've been a child. And we have a diving board to do this.
institution. I think you guys are ready. So I kind of explained that already. I don't know I'm explaining myself again. It's um, 7 a.m. You can wait since like 5. We're both very early risers, which make it actually very, very perfect because I don't feel bad for waking up early and then thinking when we came up. He doesn't feel bad for waking up early. He's going to wake me up with the uh, early risers and it makes so much sense. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. <laughs> he makes me very happy. He, he had a couple of errands to run, so he's gone. I'm here in the hotel room. I was saying he must went back to the pool. <laughs> but I think that the pool will be really cold because there will be the swim. I definitely want to come back here. Everybody on my Instagram is asking me where this place is. We are at Jerome Garden and Suites in Upper Beach. I'll get the address. I'll put all the details in the description box. I don't know the address off the top of my head. It's a really nice, quiet hotel in Upper Beach, which is on the mainland. And when we booked this place, like the thing we really liked about it was the pool. We took a picture of the pool. We're like, oh my god, that's a fantastic pool. The room is nice. The only issue I have with the room is the color scheme. It's a bit, the rooms are very like loud. The color schemes of these rooms are very like out there in your face. But apart from that, like the interior look like that, but the garden and the pool is just... So when we came yesterday, it was pretty dark. So I decided to come to the garden in the morning so you guys can see what the garden here looks like. The garden is really big, expansive, and right there is the indoor pool. Oh, it's so beautiful here. So damn beautiful and peaceful. To be quite honest, when he sent me the link to this place and I looked at it, I was like, what this place exists? Like, the garden is just, it's my favorite thing. And the pool, oh my god, the swimming pool. I'm not swimming this morning, it's way too early. Plus, we're leaving in a bit, but I just want to show you guys the pool in the daytime. This pool is so huge. I'm telling you guys now without the fact, I feel like I've stumbled across lagos best kept secret me shout to me because this place is a vibe and a half i'm definitely gonna be coming back here gonna come create content take pictures have you like this place is so nice like wow i really like this hotel because it has like hidden spaces in the garden so like i just found this little pathway it leads from there and it comes all the way here and it's this really nice secluded spot up in here it's so nice and you're just surrounded by greenery everywhere like everywhere so much greenery i love it so much bye bye jerome and your beautiful garden entrance thank you for having me for my birthday